Hi guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I wanted to talk to you about uh, my flea market uh, that I have a couple of booths at. We're going to be doing an open house this Saturday, which is the 18th. There's a bunch of us that got together to plan out a fun day of just getting together and shopping around with people and uh, maybe do some giveaways, have a few sales, things like that. So I wanted to show you what my plan was for doing kind of like a giveaway. So I thought what I would do is I took a whole package of that DAS clay and I made these out of the IOD molds. Uh, these, this one is from the, the one with the pine cones on it. I'll find the names of them and put them down below. Um, can't think of it right now for the life of me. But anyway, so I made a whole ton of these. These were the easiest to make, so I made a bunch of them. Uh, and then I did the birds from the bird mold. These are all from the IOD. And then I did the snowflake one. I believe it's called the snowflake mold. So uh, I did all three of those, and I just did up a bunch of them, like 12, 15 of them. I think I made more of the pine cones, like I said, because they were the easiest. Uh, it's very detailed, but not as detailed as, this was the hardest, not as detailed as the uh, snowflakes. So what I wanted to do today is kind of show you, I don't even know what I'm going to do yet, how I'm going to decorate these. The pine cones, I know that I'd like to maybe use some antique wax on them, darken them up at least with something, and then maybe some gold, just do some gold over the top of them and do some really nice, I don't know, rip up a bunch of this stuff and make little strips to put through the holes because I did do holes in all of them. Um, the bird, I don't know, I might just keep white and then do gold over the top on the ridges and stuff like that. I'm trying to keep it simple and not overwhelm myself because I, I do have a lot going on. I have a couple videos coming out on Sunday and um, just been a lot going on. <laughs> Thanksgiving's coming, you know, there's just a lot. So uh, i trying to keep this simple. I'm going to give these away with one of my business cards hooked on to the back of it and they can rip that off and then put this on their tree if they want to. But it will have the information on the back of what booth number I have. And then if they're, you know, really like what they see, they can come back and hopefully it'll be something for them to remember to come back and, and check the place out. But we're just trying to have a little bit of fun, get our customers in, get people that have never been to the flea market before to come in. Uh, I know that we have talked about it, some of us girls that have a booth and guys, um, we have talked about it and said every week when we're in there, we hear somebody say, we've never been here before. They could not believe how cool it was, how big it was, how many booths and rooms, and it even goes around to another section. Uh, they just had no idea what was in that building. So um, we're just trying to get more people to come in and check it out because the more people that do are gonna love it. We know they will. And so, that's what we're kind of doing with this open house is, you know, it's the holidays. Everybody's having an open house, trying to have a little bit of fun. When we get together, a bunch of us that do booths together, we have a lot of fun. Since I still had these out, I thought I would just bring them out and show you. So this is the bird song right here. And I did a bunch of this one. So it's this bird right here. When it comes out, you know, obviously you flip it over. And I put the little hole in there. This one is, let's see, what's this one called? The Holly Lane, right there. And if I can find them, I'll put links to all these. And then this is the one that I did here, the, the big pine cone. And then this one is the Blitz, right there. And this is the one that I did for the Blitz. And it's this one right here. So, just like that. So now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna use for paints on this. I've gotta get some stuff out. Okay, so I wasn't joking when I said I have a lot of these. 
that I did there upside down because I was drying them in the sun upside down. Because when they dry, sometimes if you leave them like this, when you flip them over, they're still wet kind of in the middle. So I just flipped them over. So yeah. So these are <laughs> all have to be done in some way. So you can see where I'm like, ah, I think I need to do just very minimum basic. So here's some antique wax. So I think I'm going to do that on all of my pine cones. I'm going to try it on a few of them. I have this flat metallic paint in the gold or champagne color. I think I could take a little bit of that on my finger and just go over the tops, just make them shimmer a little bit. And um, just a simple little ornament. We're gonna give it a shot. See how this works. It's not gonna be anything fancy by any means. And it may be a lot more work than than I want to do, I don't know. Oh, I like that two-toned effect. When you wipe it back, it keeps uh, all the, the antique wax down in the cracks, which is what it's supposed to do. And then it takes it off the top. Oh yeah. Ooh, I like that. It looks authentic. Very pretty. So I gotta make sure I do the backs. And I wanna get, I want this to dry really well. So I wanna get this out of there as much as possible, no puddling, not too much puddling in the in the cracks. But I like that, what do you think? I like that a lot. I might not even use the metallics on these. Okay, whew, that took me a while, but I think those came out great and I don't think I wanna do any gold on top of them. I think because I brushed them or you know wiped them off that they came out pretty good and I just did the back, it looks like an old piece of leather or wood, it's kind of cool. But um, they're still drying. My hands were completely covered, so if you still see it under my nails, it's because I was basically bathing in antique wax. Okay, so the next thing, let's try, oh, I got some antique wax on my little bird. Let's try some of this matte metallics, flat matte uh, metallic paint and the color champagne, who knows? I got this on clearance, so I pick up stuff from time to time. Brand new, this is what it is, Deco Art, Americana Decor. Oh yeah, look at that. That's got some shimmer to it. I like it. My problem is I don't have anything to stir with with this guy. Okay, so I have a little brush here and I think what I'm gonna do is just put a little dab on my brush. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And there's my little bird. Oh, it's easier for me to hold on to. And just brush it on. We do a little bit first, and then we can get heavier as we go if we need to. Oh, I lost a bit of his tail. That's not good. So can you see? I don't know if you can see the difference there. It is, so you just start out light and then you, you know, as you go, you can darken, darken it up. Because if you go in dark, it's hard to bring it back. You know, take it off if you don't like it.
champagne or gold color or whatever you do and you could go over it with some dark wax some white wax depending on what you like for decor what you're what you're trying to get to with me i i'm giving these away and it's more of a promotional thing to give my um my cards, my business cards. I'll show you those. Okay, so here's my business card. It says repurpose my way on the back, which here I can put in Happy Trails Flea Market. Uh, I could write in my booth number or whatever. Um, and then on this side, it's just the name of my business. I love to upcycle, repurpose, paint and renew, primitive rustic home decor. My name, recycle artist in Maine, scan the QR code, which is over here. So I'm going to attach that. And it just says, see videos on how I create, get tips to do it yourself, my products I make and use. So, and then my email address. And when you go onto my QR code, it takes you to Instagram, my email, Facebook, YouTube, I think even TikTok. I don't do a lot on there, but once in a while I'll pop something on. So I think what I'm going to do is just put a hole with my hole punch. And when I put, you know, put a string or whatever I'm gonna put on it, I'll hang this with it and they'll get my business card with my QR code. And um, I don't know, it's just a little something to promote my business and to get them to maybe come back if they, you know, if they like the gesture. So, I'm just just trying to figure things out and trying to think of ways. So if you're, you know, want to give away a free little ornament and your your card, that would work really well. I like putting the QR code on things because a lot of people know you just scan it with your phone, your photo app, and it'll take you to my link tree, which is Got all my social media on there. And it also has my Etsy shop. So if anybody wants to buy anything off that. Um, and I do have some new timer candles that I got done. I need to get them up. Hopefully before this video goes out, I will have them up live on. Actually, I think I have the votives on there already, but I got tea lights as well. A lot of people were loving the grubby candles, but they wanted them to be the um, timer ones. So I've got to order more and get grubbying on those. But anyway, there's that. Just a little bit of metallic paint. And now I'm going to have metallic instead of <laughs> my antique wax all over me. But that's okay. It's fun. And I love how these came out. They look so rustic and good. Okay, so I did one of the uh, snowflakes as well. This one's a little bit bent up, but that's all right. It's going to have a hanger coming from it, so it just adds a little dimension. But I did both sides. And I just remembered I have some of that Dixie Dirt, which is the powdery stuff. It's almost like baby powder, but it's like a dust. And so you... I could put it in there and hopefully get it to fall down in the cracks and stuff so I could kind of make these look a little more distressed and old. So I think I might try that on these and see what they look like. Okay, so this is the Dixie Bell Dixie Dirt Earth. So it's the darker, you can see it's like a grayish, dirty looking. And there it is. It's very powdery. Very powdery. So I'm thinking, just put a little on a brush. I think this one's the driest. There. Here's a little darker, dirtier color. Compared to that one, can you see the difference? 
It takes a shininess out too. This is really shiny and this isn't so shiny. See, that's the back side and the front side. I really like that. Okay, I've got to take a break. I've got still got all these and a few birds left, but I need to take a break. So I ripped off a piece of this homespun material. It's just this ticker stripe, ticking stripe. I don't know, whatever you call it. But anyway, I've had this for a long time. And I just ripped pieces off. And I ripped this one off. And then I got my, oh, I got paint on that. Shoot, let me get a different one. Okay, so I'm gonna put a hole somewhere here and then feed this. Uh, I want it to go in the back. Feed this through so that it goes in the back of my pine cone. And I could flip it around so it had that behind it. I mean, but this is my idea. And then just make a kind of a knot loop, a knot loop. There. Does that look kind of rustic and primitive and all the things? I really like that. And I'm not going to bother sealing these because it's I used antique wax on it. So that should seal it just fine. And um, I think I'm going to do them all like that. So I remembered I looked in my stash and I had a couple little tubes of rub and buff that I bought. This is the antique gold and this is the ebony, which is like a black color. So I think what I'm going to do, these are pretty dry. I think I've got them all painted on one side at least. And then I got to do the other side, but what I was thinking of doing is getting a little dab and seeing what it looks like with the black on the top instead of using the dust. So let's see if we can get a little dab to come out. So all you need is a little tiny bit. And then you just rub your finger over the, the high spots. I kind of like that with the black on it. I know I said that about the dust too, but. Just playing around, seeing what what I can do here. So there's the black and there's the uh, dust, Dixie dust. So this makes it look like a, a, a bronze statue that's been out in the sun for a while. I mean, I guess, I mean, I guess it would work on this too with, so it looks really aged. What do you think? Without the Dixie dust, with the Dixie dust. I think I, I don't know. I think I like it with the Dixie dust and the rub and buff on the top. I don't like the shiny. I never usually do, but. Yeah, I think I like that. All right, so I've added another step, which I said I didn't want to do. <laughs> but
but that's okay. I like it. I want to I want to feel confident about giving uh giving these away and I want them to look pretty. I like that. It looks old. It looks old. Okay, so let's go over what I've done. So I painted with the metallic paint first. Then I'm going over with the Dixie Dust or Dixie Dirt and making it look dirty like this one. Kind of dirtying it up. Then taking the rub and buff, which is this stuff, and um, putting just a dab and hitting the high spots on the um, different ornaments. so finally got them all done as far as painted and all rub and buffed so now I'm just ready to put strings on there's a few that are still drying I'm gonna let those dry for a while but I can work on some of these so I've started working on a few of them so here's the little bird with my card on it and I just use jute um, I think it's simple you know if somebody wants to change it out for something else they can uh, just trying to use what I have and not buy anything special and I have plenty of jute. Here's the snowflake. So there's that one and then of course here is the pine cone that I did. So I think those came out so much better. I like them with the dust on them to dull down the shininess and then the rub and buff. Now so these pine cones all I did was use antique wax. That one's a really messy one. This one's a little newer, so it's not as messy. So that's all I did with this one, antique wax, just with a brush. And then I took a paper towel and just wiped it back gently because you don't want to be too rough with these because they will break. And I like how they came out. They're very natural looking. They have the highlights there so I really like how those came out um, and I'm gonna finish putting my strings on and my ties and my cards and then I am going to be ready to put them in a basket and pass them out to people at the open house now this is that's this Saturday November 18th I'm gonna be there hopefully maybe for the day not really sure how things are gonna go but for a good chunk of the day I'm gonna try to be there giving out ornaments helping people out talking to people whatever whatever needs to be done I'm there um so and once in a while I may pop in and maybe I'll try and do a live it's kind of hard with wi-fi but I'll try maybe I'll put in a few little videos some shorts some uh reels or something on Instagram or Facebook so if you don't follow me on there follow me <laughs> uh if you want to see some extra footage of that the next day on Sunday the 19th I have two videos coming out they're short but there's two, so it makes them like one longer one, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So one is at 4 p.m. Eastern on, um, on Sunday, so Sunday afternoon. And then the next one is at 7.15 on Sunday night, and it'll be a premiere, which means that the video isn't live, but it'll be premiered live, it'll be shown live. So I'll be on there chatting along with 
These are both collaborations, so I'll be on there with some other people uh, that are in the collaboration with me. So if it's anything that you're interested in, come on in, chit chat with me and everyone else, and it'll be lots of fun. So thanks for uh, watching this crazy ornament video and have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care.